What's up guys, I'm Holly. If you're new and if you're returning, welcome to another video. I'm doing a weekly vlog this week. Sitting on my porch right now, it is a Monday, like mid-March, and it's actually spring break for most of Nashville this week. So a lot of my clients are actually away with their kids, hence why I have this free morning. So it's really nice. I've been doing this thing where I come out to my porch and I just sit in the fresh air for like 30 minutes in the morning, at least on weekends. And then if I can, you know, after morning clients or whatever, I have started journaling. I do this um, five minute journal and it's really, really simple. You don't have to just do like a bunch of deep thoughts. It's like very programmed. So in the mornings you write three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, a daily affirmation. And then at the end of the day, you write highlights of the day and what did I learn today? And I know it can sound woo woo, but it actually really helps gear your day in the right direction, like or steer your day in the right direction. I feel like when I write things that would make today great, I end up doing those things. It's, it's nice. So I'm gonna do this this morning. I, I'm, you guys are propped up on my coffee right now. I'm gonna have a little scone and then we will get to it. My first thing today is gonna be F45 at noon. And then I have the rest of my clients right after that. All right, guys, I'm ready for my workout. Had these hokas on, which I washed all my sneakers last week in the washing machine, which I always do, but I don't know what happened. They got kind of screwed up. Oh, well. I'm in Wonder Unders from Lulu. I am in this Aritzia hoodie I had on earlier. This is the Swiftly t-shirt um, from Lulu. And I brought a change of clothes here because I have to run to the gym for a client right after, and I don't want to be all sweaty for that. So off to work out. all right workout is done i actually didn't work out this weekend at all i didn't even take walks or anything i was just like busy doing house stuff whatever and i feel it today cardio wise but my muscles also feel better on friday i had three run clients so i go with them and did a run a hill run with my friend so i was smoked by friday night glad i took the time off but that was Oh, stuff. Time to go to East for my next client. Uh, we're doing a gym workout. She is prepping for her first 100 this October. And so it's been really fun training her for that specifically. But I'm gonna hopefully have time to change. I brought a change of clothes. Um, I showed you guys that just because I don't wanna be in sweaty clothes for the next hour and a half. But yeah, workout is done and it is like a little after one. All right, back from the gym and my client, and now I'm gonna make some lunch, I'm starving. I'm having what I had last night for dinner. I made these like little romaine boats. So in the romaine, I put this ground chicken that I made with onion and a bunch of seasoning and then rice, and it is so good. And actually, what I love about the shell being the romaine is like, I feel like you can have a good number of them and not feel too full, which I like, and I love the crunch from the lettuce. So some of them yesterday, I put a little bit of this Cholula on, the green one. And I had some avocado yesterday, but I don't have that today. So we're gonna just warm up the chicken and rice, make these, yeah. And then my next client's online at four. 
and we are working on building her like heavy lifting strength which has been really fun so now we keep notes of all her weights she's lifting what she's squatting deadlifting all that stuff and then we're going to progressively build before it was more like maintenance and just general fitness but now we're doing um specific increased strength goals for the next few months which will be fun and then after that i'm getting my nails done so pretty good monday so far i've been in a little bit of a funk i don't really know why um i think it's just standard monday but we're getting through it Perfect, so we're gonna hit just 10 back squats with no weight first, get a little lower on each one. And if you need to hang out at the bottom on any of them to like open up the hips, ankles, go for it. All right, remember, think fast up, even though it won't go as fast as you're thinking and um, break parallel for sure. Up, good, walk it in, perfect. And then it also helps keep those elbows close together too, so it's really this nice tight shelf to the body, good. It does help um, to just break things up. Even if it's lying to yourself, it really helps, especially when things just feel like too big of a number, you know, mentally. I love your little tricks. They work so well. Oh. <laughs> I can tell you honed them over the years to get through your work. Yeah, it's anything that helps. So, um, awesome. All right, done with nails. That was the fastest manicure I've ever gotten, which was great. I am so tired. I honestly, it is 5.56 and I could go to sleep when I get home. I don't even want to even figure out dinner. Like I'm so freaking tired, I don't know why. So I have a lot that I could do right now if I can muster the energy. One one idea that keeps floating to the top of my head is going home norma teching and getting a little work done to prepare for tomorrow. I do need to film my Patreon workouts earlier in the month, this month, just with so much going on. So I like to plan those ahead of when I film them obviously so that they're digested in my brain. I don't need to keep referencing the notes and stuff. So I think I'm gonna film strength tomorrow morning, meaning I need to have that planned before. But we'll see. Could also go on a walk maybe and make the most of the fact that we have extra daylight now. I don't really know. But um I could also take a nap. So that's kind of where I'm at. Morning guys, it is Tuesday now. I slept like absolute shit, could not fall asleep for my life last night. I honestly think I didn't go to sleep until after three. I don't know why, but I've been trying to not need anything to fall asleep. So like no Tylenol PM, no sleepy tea, all of that. Um, and so I, I went with nothing last night and I regret it. Anyway, um, I probably got five hours or so. I don't have 6 a.m. again this morning because like I said yesterday, it is a lot of people's spring break, so a lot of my clients are gone. So I'm just making some coffee now. Today I have a few house things. I have the HVAC guy coming to service the air conditioner. When I bought this house, it definitely looked like it had never been serviced and was purchased a long time ago. So I'm trying to look out for any problems early. The guy who did a lot of my painting is coming to do a few touch-ups. And then I just have a client at 12 that I'm going to run with. We're gonna do hills. She has a race this weekend, so we'll take it easy. And then after that, I have a um, call online, more like a consult, one-time coaching call to help someone out with their half marathon. That's the updates for this morning. I'm just gonna power through, make coffee. And I think I am gonna film my Patreon strength workout this afternoon once I'm done with clients and feel a bit more with it. All 
All right, it is 11 now, and I just finished my workouts, writing all the programming for next week, which is great. I leave really early Thursday morning for California and was thinking I would write it on the plane, but definitely better that I wrote it now. And that's done, so I have about 30 minutes before I have to leave for my noon run client. The HVAC guy is here, and he has been working on it a while. I'm really hoping there's no bad news, because <laughs> that would not be a fun expense right now. All right, guys, it is a beautiful day here, and I'll keep you posted. Okay, run is done. We did hills. It is hot outside, but I am not complaining. Okay, just made lunch. I did the brown rice quinoa pasta from Trader Joe's, ground beef with seasoning, and then raw zucchini. I've been so into lately, so just cut up a raw zucchini, and then a little Parmesan on top. All right, guys, it is about four now. I had my last client. That went really well, and... I had my lunch I showed you. Then I had to take a nap because I actually couldn't go another minute in this day. <laughs> and I'm getting up now and I feel like I have the energy to go outside and run. I'm gonna do the loop I did with my friend um, back on Friday. It's about six miles. It's quite hilly, but it's broken up enough that it doesn't, it's not too bad. And I'm gonna put on good music and just be in a good headspace and enjoy the weather. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna pull out some clothes right now. I think I'm gonna go shorts. Or am I going to go leggings with a t-shirt? Maybe I'm going to go the line shorts with the all yours, like the t-shirts I always wear, but the long sleeve of that. Um, I think it's like high 60s and I don't mind sweating a little extra, but I think I do want shorts on. So going to get dressed and I will see you guys over there. Run is done. I ended up doing 10K. Good number of hills without having a friend here and just being with my uh, own head and thoughts today. It was a bit harder, but it was actually, it felt really good. I forget how like head clearing running can be when you're just going out just to move. Like there's no specific goal. It was really nice. So felt good. Paced myself well on the hills. No stops or anything. Perfect weather. And I listened to a great sound mix. If you guys are on SoundCloud at all, um, it's called Down Under Country, but it's these like country remixes. If you like country at all, slash remixes, like more techno. It's really uplifting. And if you like country music, it's all like your favorite songs in there. I will try to link it if I can find the, the link to the playlist, but it's awesome. Listen to that and I'm gonna stretch. Go home and take it easy. Okay, just showered and made dinner. I did very simple brown rice with broccoli, uh, turkey burger, and then some eggs on top. And I also made a large water with element in it. If you guys don't know what element is, it's this awesome electrolyte mix. Um, I put the citrus salt one in, that was really good. I think I've just been so dehydrated because I have been chugging this and we are getting into the months where I'm gonna definitely have to be bringing water with me when I run. I can't go without. Morning guys, it is 6 a.m. now on Wednesday. I am just about to pull into the parking lot for my first client of many today. I am gonna keep you posted as much as I can throughout the day today, but it's very kind of back to back to back and I'm still figuring out if I'm gonna squeeze in my own F45 class as well. So we will see, um, but tomorrow is my trip when I leave. So I have a lot to do. <laughs> Hey guys, I am home now. I have about 
an hour until my next person. And so I just made some breakfast. I am doing kind of a big breakfast because I really won't get to eat again for probably another four or so hours. So I just did a bagel. It's hard to show you. I did a bagel with um, cream cheese, cucumber, and then smoked salmon on top. And then just black coffee. That has been my routine on the coffee front lately. So I'm gonna eat this, drink a bunch of water, and then head to the next client and just found out I normally train her. We do half gym, half walk, and we're gonna actually pivot today. I'm gonna train her wife in the gym, like nice and gentle, so no walk on that part, which is good because I actually have two more runs today. All right, workout is done. I squeezed it in, I'm glad I did. Three clients down, workout down, I have two left, and they're both like run walk-ish. So gonna head to the first one. Then I do have a little break in between that one and the next one, so that's good. I brought a change of clothes, but I think I'm just gonna be so sweaty anyway that what's the point, honestly. All right, oh, one quick note, just, I don't know why. I, I think I'm just tired, so I'm in a mood, but there is nothing worse, and I say this as a coach, than a coach who overhandles somebody. Like, we have stations in F45, and this coach wasn't paying attention to where I already was, and was telling me, like, oh, you're going to the wrong place, whatever, when I wasn't, and then it screwed up my whole, if you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Like, I knew where I was going, she thought I did it, and it was just kind of annoying. Glad to get off that, get that off my chest. All right, let's make today better. It is 8.45ish now on Wednesday night. I am not packed and my Uber comes at 3.30 in the morning for my trip to Laguna. So I am gonna get some things together right now. Luckily, it's very mild weather there, like 60s as the high, 50s as the low. Obviously humid-ish, we're by the beach, um, but I'm really excited. This trip is mostly just for fun, a little bit for work, a little bit to help my sister um, figure some life stuff out. But this trip is mostly for fun, a little bit for work. And yeah, I don't need that much. So I don't need to overpack. I do not need to overpack. But I also want to have things. I don't, I don't know if you guys are like this. I like having my favorite clothes with me because they're my emotional support clothes. So I am going to put these things together and try to get, you know, four-ish hours of sleep and then I'll sleep on the flight the first flight I have a layover through Vegas I do have a ton of work and taxes and life shit to do tomorrow so I get there before my sister does so I will have all day tomorrow um I will show you guys part of Laguna and everything once I'm there but yeah so that's kind of the deal I'm gonna get everything together I am just carrying on because I'm only going for three nights and I think I'm gonna leave you guys here for now and I will see you bright and early Hey guys, made it to California. I'm in Laguna Beach area, like Orange County. One of our favorite places on the planet, mine and my sister's. She is flying in tonight. So I kind of had the whole day solo once I got here. We're right on the water. You can hear the waves right now. Let me show you this view. Literally, we have this little balcony for coffee and stuff. This is the beach. So I'm gonna go on a little beach walk now and I have a sports bra under here in case I get too hot. I made a dinner reservation for myself very early at like 5.30, uh, about a mile away, mile walk. So I'll walk down there for that. I think it's just like seafood, kind of Mexican food combo. And then I'll pick my sister up tonight. So super pumped. I just finished a bunch of work, worked from a coffee shop called Bear Coast Coffee. Um, I think I took a couple clips of it, but it's a great, great coffee shop. 
and worked from there and then finished up in the room here. So now I'm on vacation for the next couple of days. I'm very excited. All right, guys, I am showered, got back from the beach walk, got ready, and now I'm taking myself to dinner. I'm gonna do that like mile walk down to the restaurant. I'm in a very casual outfit so that if I sweat, um, no one really can tell. So I'm just going in these linen pants and this loose tank top, and then I'm gonna bring a jacket because I'm gonna be on the water, so it will be breezy. Um, the walk was so nice earlier. I just listened to a podcast and yeah, gonna go enjoy myself. It is like five-ish now. All right, guys, I am back from dinner now. It is a little after eight, I think. Those are the waves. And I had a great dinner. I took my time. They sat me right along the glass, which was really nice. So I just had the best view. Had a cocktail, had oysters, I had tuna poke, and then I got a kale salad with blackened chicken on it. Um, I hadn't eaten since breakfast. I was dying of starvation when I sat down. So it was really good food and I enjoyed myself. And then I walked back Took my time, I walked a little bit on the beach and then the tide was kind of high, so I switched up to the path, um, just like through the town. But this is a really, it feels really safe to be here alone. If you are traveling alone, I would really recommend this as far as Southern California goes. Anything in Orange County, I've always felt really safe here, but especially if you're in kind of a like littler town, it just feels like you know there's the right number of people around. So anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I think this has been a nice full vlog of Plenty of work, now play. I'm gonna enjoy this weekend with my sister, but I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Bye.